Well folks, welcome to Picking Reels and we've got a few reels to show you here today so let's just have a quick look at these so first off um, we've got a couple of Condex reels this is JW Young's built but um, it's a Shakespeare Condex it's in full working order um, we've manufactured a replacement washer for this reel because it had a missing washer everything else and it works perfectly and that will be coming up in the shop shortly and um, it will be at a slightly lower price and that's because of that um, non-authentic part on there which is working perfectly you know it's not just like um, a half arsed replacement or anything it's been fitted properly and everything um, so that will be coming up soon and that's a wide drum so keep an eye out for that one because that is a bit of a bargain really um, and here we have, um, this is called a Condex and this is an original JW Young's Condex and you can hear that fully working also that's got the original washers and screws on it and as you can see on the back there it says Condex and we have done a little bit of work on these to um, get them all up to fully fishing order I guess and uh, they'll be up in the store shortly too. Condex of course is the um, at the very very bottom of the chain of Young's products the next up would be the Pridex and then after that you would have the um, the Bodex so this is the Bodex and so we've got another one of these for sale and this is the more modern slightly later Bodex Instead of having the steel line guide which wraps around, it's just like a spring steel. It has a line guide which is, um, or a line pull out guide anyway, uh, or guard. It's maybe a line guard you want to call it. That's maybe the wrong wrong expression I've used there. And that's, um, some of these are made of steel and some of these are not. And the ones that are not do tend to wear so you have to replace them. You can't of course buy the replacements anymore so you have to get them from me. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this is it. this is the Bodex, and as you can see here, this is a brake reel. So there's a brake on the back of it, and uh, it has a chrome wheel foot, which is nice, a nice feature actually, because it means it won't corrode, and it's got a fully working slater latch on it. Everything on the back is working perfectly, and uh, that's been renovated that particular reel, and that will be up for sale shortly also, and it's in good condition really. It is. So I thought I would show you a couple of other things that um, that we acquired. Um, we went out to the car boot sales and uh, so we've got a nice pair of Rolex here. Um, and they're cast iron and they're still pretty solid and still very very usable. So if you need a nice pair of Rolex then uh, you know where to go. <laughs> um, we also got uh, recently a couple of wall fish and these are they um, this I believe is a trout this is the perfect thing of course for your man cave you stick it on the wall um, there's a nice little trout there just looks like I've just caught that doesn't it no not really <laughs> um, we also have another um, quite interesting wall fish which is a slightly bigger I think that, that looks like a perch to me I'm not an expert on freshwater fish really but um, that, it, that does look like something like a perch or a chub or something and uh, that's quite a nice one too um, very very authentic looking in fact um, fixable on the back I'm not sure exactly how maybe maybe one of those big um, neodymium magnets would, would put it on the wall pretty easily maybe something like that absolutely superb little wall fish so they'll be in the uh, in the store uh, lately and um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of flurry of interest in those because there usually is when we get these in <laughs> right so just lastly on picking reels I would like to show you another couple of reels so we require, acquired this, this is um, very much a 70s style aluminium uh, salmon reel and it is braked, this, this is some friction washers under here and if you turn this knurled knob, it breaks the um, the reel. Now I'm not sure how how whether I would trust such a small surface area there to a very very large salmon. Um, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I would. I don't know. But um, but it is still working. And uh, one of the flaws with this reel is that um, 
it, it really needs a washer underneath these handle tops because they do grate a little bit because they've got two flat surfaces one against the other and that gives you high friction which is not, not an ideal situation really so and uh, judging by the way there's there's a fair bit of play there I would say that's not wear and tear I would say there's supposed to be a washer under there and the previous owners um, didn't put it back when they took the reel apart or something like that okay so one of the faults that you find with this type of reel is is that um, these feet get loose they're only riveted it is possible with a weed tap to tighten these up a little bit and that's what we've done we've fully repaired this reel you often find also that the line guide which is made of brass has cr cracked parts in it and, and would cut your line if you if you weren't careful and that's all been fully repaired on this reel it's all been cleaned out inside as you can see it spins beautifully at the back here it says on the back K Darling and Sons Harrow Middlesex for those of you who are not in the UK MDDX is Middlesex and it says made in England which is uh, where Middlesex is I guess this particular reel has been fully reconditioned and serviced and um, it has a beautiful ratchet on that's working perfectly either way you want which is very nice it's got an oiling hole and in its day this particular reel would have been quite expensive to, obviously today's salmon reels if you look at them they are actually quite similar to this but they're made from um, hot injected metal instead of being put together with brass sections and rivets this particular type of reel is called a wide arbor reel and that's because instead of winding from the center you're winding from this plane which is on the edge of the reel here and that gives you more leverage when you're pulling a fish in because uh, if you remember torque equals force times radius so if you increase the radius you get better pull you can apply better force to the line let's just put it that way and it stops the um, you know when you, your line runs out right down the middle of the reel and you're just winding really fast because you've only got that little tiny little bit in the middle it stops that situation occurring but it does mean that you can't have quite as much line on the reel but there's pro still probably enough space on these reels to put quite a lot of line so I wouldn't worry too much about it anyway that's a nice K Dowling and it's very good quality originally and it's in nice condition and it's not particularly badly worn or anything it's um, it's actually got quite a well quite a tight spindle on it which is beautiful so last off in picking reels I'm just going to show you this this is um, this is an antique and um, this is from much much earlier um, it's probably somewhere between the 30s and the 50s this was made by the Edinburgh Hardy which is essentially Richard Turnbull's uh, Richard Turnbull's did go out of business which is very sad because they were a very good high quality supplier of fishing gear um, they were easily a match for Hardy in quality they never quite managed to market themselves in the same way as Hardy and of course they didn't do the uh, casting club of France and all that kind of thing and so they don't have the same fishing history if you like as Hardy's do but they did make absolutely superb quality reels and this has been serviced it's in full working order um, it's got really good solid brass components on it it's got a brass uh, threaded stem and a brass threaded ratchet pole which you can replace if you can find another one which is probably unlikely as it happens and a really solid brass foot on it and that, that is a very nice reel, it's die, die cast, zinc cast, essentially it's zinc cast made from the same uh, metal as uh, dinky toys you know and um, and it's not, it doesn't have any line play wear on these posts or anything like that and it is in a very very nice condition and that's a nice historic reel for a collector in superb condition and that will come up in the store later on and it will be quite expensive I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> anyway folks this is the end of picking reels today thanks so much for watching folks bye